Uh, hey there, hey there, yeah, Game Freak employee. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's cool, that's cool, man. Uh, look, my friend, he, he's got a whole bunch of new ideas, and I, I kind of want to come through for him. Here, here, here's a piece of paper. Uh, it's got all the ideas that he wants for the new Pokemon Sun and Moon game, you know. I think it just, it'd be cool if I could do this for him. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, we get a lot of these ideas, and uh, it's really an internal process, you know what I mean? I really love my job, and I really love that it's only us that decides this, like, really... You know, thanks a lot, but uh, we can do without it. Don't worry, we probably have those ideas also, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to work. I, I really love my job here. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. You're not. Oh, there we go. There we go. Shh, shh. It'll be over soon. Shh, shh. You'll be okay. Just this has to happen. This has to happen. This has da 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 da. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, Luigi. We're doing this. We're going in. We're going in. I hope we're ready for this. Hey peeps, it's Triple L and today I am here to bring you a Pokemon related video. See, I was looking at my channel and I realized I haven't made a Pokemon video since like six videos ago and it's just too much non-Pokemon stuff. So I figured time to make a Pokemon video, time to make that portion of the subscribers happy. And what better video than to talk about new features that might be present in Sun and Moon, or rather not new features, I'm lying, old features that I would like to come back. Or they're not really features, because when I go through the list, they are more like elements of past Pokemon games that I want to see come back. So that's the title I'm going to go with. Elements of past Pokemon games I would very much enjoy having back. And so I'm just going to go through a list. I'm going to talk about what I would really like to come back. I'll give a little bit of a rationale to it. And if you agree with anything I have to say, please, you know, let me know. Uh, put it down in the comments. Tell me what you would like to come back of features that we've already had in past titles. So, of course, also, it's an opinion-based video, so I might not have the same features that you would want to come back. Or I might rank one of the ones that you would really love to come back really low. You know, you get, you get the deal. If you watch YouTube, you get how these videos work. I do ask, you know, let's have fun with this video, okay? Cool. I think that's good enough for an intro. Let's get started. So let's go. Seven elements or features I would like to see come back in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And let's start off with a crowd favorite, Pokemon following you as you're walking. Now, personally, I am not that invested in this particular feature. Like, really, if it doesn't come through, if it doesn't happen, I won't go to forums complaining about it. I'll be fine. I'll live. But that doesn't mean I don't understand why people love this feature so much. And what it really comes down to, from what I understand, it's just, it's a nice detail. The real question is why not have it? It's just a nice detail to go around into this big world and have your best friend Pokemon following behind you, the first member of your party witnessing this world with you. It's just a detail that serves to increase the enjoyment in the game. And it's just another level of polish and it gives way for nice interactions. And it's just a question of really, why not have it? Why not enhance the experience? We've only had the feature in Pokemon Yellow, kind of, and Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And really, after Heart Gold and Soul Silver, we really would have been able to get it. We definitely could have had it in Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2 because we were still in sprites. X and Y gets the pass because they made the transition to 3D models and maybe they didn't have time to appropriate it. Regardless, I do think in Sun and Moon they have the opportunity to do this feature again and it would be a welcome addition. The second feature I would very much love to see come back is black and white's more reactive battles and by reactive battles i mean remember black and white how things are just always going on dependent on how much pokemon you're beating like if you were fighting a gym leader and you were on her last pokemon the music would change maybe she'd come in and she'd talk or he would talk it's a nice little thing to have and of course the biggest thing is the beeping sound the beeping sound was replaced with music and i just thought that was such a neat thing i really love that feature or i love that little quirk I think it really should come back, even though it was kind of divisive for some people. It was very welcome in my eyes, and I think it's nice that battles can be made more engaging without actually messing up the battle flow. They were aesthetic elements, but they were aesthetic elements done well. The next feature, or actually element, that I would very much love to see come back was Black and White's story depth. And now, I want to make sure this is clear, because when you look at it, Black and White, really, they had a pretty simple story. But what was so unique about Black and White was how many characters were actively involved. How many characters actually had a stake in it. And if I was to give an example, 
the gym leaders. Black and white's gym leaders, I feel, are some of the strongest gym leaders character-wise just because they weren't locked to their gyms. They were outside. You could have met them before you actually went to their gym. And then at the penultimate moment, they show up and they counter Team Plasma's sages. And, you know, it was just such a fulfilling moment because here you have these trainers who you're told are the best. And here they are actually trying to make a difference, actually trying to save the Pokemon world that they inhabit. It was a great moment. And even looking at other characters in black and white, you had Anne, you have Gestus. I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm just going to leave it at that. You had Bianca and her little drama with her dad. All those little things were very nice and they, they made black and white more worthwhile. And then you had also Team Plasma's kind of interesting conflict. So overall, black and white, if we got a story depth like that, a story with so many moving parts, with so many characters involved, I would be happy. The next element I would enjoy to see come back is pretty much Pokemon Red and Blues and Gold and Silver's antagonistic rivals. Because when you look at the rivals for Ruby and Sapphire, Diamond and Pearl, Black and White, and then X and Y, the rivals are all super friendly. Like, you know, even X and Y had Shauna. And actually, Shauna was pretty weird. I'd like to see more of Shauna type characters just because it was so weird and it really rose a lot of questions. You know, like, what what was Game Freak trying to say with that? Like, wow, I, I don't know, but I, I enjoyed it. So yeah, more like Shauna, but back to the antagonistic rivals. I'd love to have rivals that actively hate our guts and always want to win. That all the way through till they're done with their character arc and maybe mellow out. They just hate you. They just are always going to berate you. And a good step in that direction is to, while also keep that personality intact, also make it so any rival battle that's not super important, i.e. a viral battle that doesn't take place inside of the enemy team hideout. Make it so that you can lose. Make it so that after the battle, your rival is going to pretty much flip you the finger and tell you you suck. Because then that raises contempt. Now you don't want to lose to your rival. It's punishing you for being a sucky trainer compared to your rival. And I think that'd be a nice effect to have in a Pokemon game. I, you know, let's bring it back. You could have a friendly rival. Let's have like the douche. Let's just have a big douche so that we can try to beat him. The next thing I would very much enjoy having back was Leaf Greens and Fire Reds Fame Checker. Peeps, I cannot tell you the amount of joy I got out of gossiping and collecting gossip and writing it down in my little Fame Checker. I love that gossip, man. It's why I think Kanto's gym leaders are probably pretty high up there along with Black and White's gym leaders. Just because there were so many little details you could find out about the gym leaders throughout the Leaf Green and Fire Red campaign. And come on, I really enjoyed finding out about Misty's love for dating spots or Lieutenant Surge's questionable involvement in a giant Pokemon war. Those moments made it for me and I was, I was happy. I just wanted to go talking to every NPC because I wanted these little details. I wanted to know what was up with these characters. The fame check meant so much to me, man. I would love to have that thing back. I think it's missing in a lot of games now, and I'm very sad anytime I find out there isn't a fame checker. It's just a little detail, but man, that little detail, it's pretty much opened a way for a lot of Pokemon theories, I think, and I very much would love having that feature back. The next feature and or element that I would love to see come back is Gold and Silver's post-game content. And we all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about 16 badges that you can get in a game. After you're done with the Elite Four, you can go back out into the world. The journey isn't over. You can go challenge a whole new region. Go there, pillage all the Pokemon, and just get all these gym badges. And it's like, wow, yeah. That's like effectively a whole other game. You got, what? You've got pretty much double the playtime in the story. And it's just so fun. Especially when compared to Pokemon X and Y's non-existent post-game content. This is a great thing to have, I believe. It's, I mean, like, why not? At least now we have Kalos. All the models are done for Kalos. We could just revisit Kalos in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And I would very much love that. It'd just be another... Uh, it'd be a fun time. That's just the fact of the matter. It'd just be a fun time. And I would love to see Kalos, like, maybe three years after when a kid has captured a pretty much living weapon and see what he has done with it. I want to see how, like, how the people feel. You know, maybe he would trip the power. That would be pretty interesting. And finally... The number one element that I would very much love to see come back is actually characters from previous games. And we've seen this happen before in Pokemon. Diamond and Pearl had Jasmine as foreshadowing for her Gold and Soul Silver. Black and White had Cynthia and the girl from the Battle Frontier who turned out to be Black and White's Elite Four member. It's just little things like this I think are very important. And it's not really for new fans. It's mostly for the older generations of that grew up with Pokemon. Because... 
Think of how cool it would be if you're in Sun and Moon, you're in the Alola region, and down the road you see a character model looks strangely familiar, and then you realize, oh my god, it's Misty. Misty is here dating someone, and it's like, wow, that's that's blowing my mind. You do you, Misty. It's like, it's nice to see you here. It's just, when you have that element in a Pokemon game, it just goes further to give you the feeling that, yeah, Pokemon is a connected world. These characters live and breathe in it. And it's nice to see them in an area outside of their game because it's it's just a nice little bit of continuity point that's very nice any kind of long time fan. And that's why I would very much love to see that feature come back. And if you've actually looked at this list, you'll realize that a lot of the elements I'd like to see come back have to do with the story. Because in my opinion, like Pokemon's pretty stable, pretty okay with their base mechanics, their base gameplay. Like, yeah, I'm okay with it. Maybe they'll reinvent the wheel like someday, or maybe they'll make spin-offs that reinvent the wheel. But I'm pretty okay with the formula. I'm pretty okay with the ways battles flow. Like they're always improving that, so it's not that much of an issue for me to worry about it. But I just would love to see these more interactive elements added into the story or reintroduced into the story, just because it causes these feelings in players. With the walking Pokemon, you get that feeling of companionship, you get that feeling of, yeah, you're not alone. You're seeing the first member of your party walking alongside you, you're talking to it. Or you see Misty down the road or you see Brock down the road and you're like, yeah, frick, I, I remember those guys. They were pretty cool. What are they doing here? Oh, my God. Theory. And it's just Pokemon gives so much little details, right? And I know they're capable of having a really nice connected world. Anyway, peeps, this video has gone on for long enough. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything in particular you would love to see come back in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And... uh Till next time, I guess. Have a good day.